He'd rained all night. By morning, city roads had become open gullies, carting water, mud, sewage, refuse, whatever through the streets, churned by the day's traffic. Haitians battling to continue life as normally as possible, as fast as possible. We found Junior Fikin retrieving his crutch from the waters. How to cross them, the transport of the developing cholera epidemic. Junior lost his leg in the earthquake, which also killed his mother and father. He told me he lives now by begging. And one of the things, that, one of the things that's difficult uh, when I'm asking for money, uh, the, usually the people think that I'm a thief because my leg is cut off and they think that it's, it's because of stealing that they caught me and cut my leg off so they don't want to help me. Every camp has suffered during the night. Roof repairs are quick. Getting the water out of the ground, nigh impossible. Tent after tent has been inundated. Ten people displaced from this one alone. Pierre Michel is 48. He leads us to his filthy, wet shelter. How many family members do you have living around here? Okay. Guess I can you have nine of my family members that have individual homes, but there are some that have seven up to eight people that live in them. So nine times seven would be the sort of extent of his family. Absolutely. Think of shoes alone, the cloying mud, the constant damp. Everywhere, new life and new loss. Draw back the door curtain on another hut. Rosny Sancher, father of one, his wife expecting another has lost his leg below the knee okay, from disease right job, here in this Lena camp. 7,000 souls in this one. Every camp we visited, the same. No program for rehousing, no support in distress. They refused to move during the storm for fear of losing what little shelter they had. But at least there's water. The UN and the agencies sustain systems so far as they can. But disease, specifically cholera, is the curse that now represents the greatest danger. The waiting is good-natured. What else is there to do? Football saps some boyish energies, but the hundreds of thousands who are still enduring the earthquake's long aftermath cannot be expected to live like this for much longer.